play mode, I don't need no drama. So, from me and Argyle's Pizza. Now, y'all got to bear with me because it's a show I've never seen. So, I did a little uh, little synopsis via TikTok to see what I could learn and, and learn y'all some things. Or not. Um, this has a doughy bread note. Um, basil and pineapples. And it says something about the, sh the food court pizza that it served. This was the... They were famous for this particular flavor of pizza. Okay. Now, here's where I found fault because it's an open concept candle for sure. I was looking for more of that French baguette note to jump out. What did jump out is basil and pineapple, which is not a bad thing. Just think about herby, um, like an herby kitchen candle. Think about pineapple and basil. Think about pineapples with tahini sprinkle on it a pineapple herby candle for the open concept is not a bad thing so this one um is not as crazy as it sound it's definitely not the wrong pizza let's put it like that on cold sniff you're gonna get remin it's gonna make you reminiscent of totino's pizza rolls that's what i got from it now hence the longer clips you have from me in the open concept um like I said, it gave a, well, I didn't say, however, let's just go ahead and give it a seven and a half on strength and projection and throw wise, we can say medium because it's going to be that sweet pineapple. It's going to be that basil. Again, the bread note was not as heavy or I was looking for a garlicky present that I did not get. Now back here in the beauty room, it had no business being back here. Absolutely no business being back here because although it's not giving me pizza, it's still giving me herby pineapple, which makes good for a good kitchen counter candle, a good dining room table candle, a good living room candle. Now back here in the smaller room, did it encapsulate the pineapple and the basil? It did. Um, no pizza sauce vibe, which would it give like a tomatoey basil, which I would think as the burn get older, maybe that would jump out. But again, it did not. You all, you're going to get pineapples and you're going to get herby basil. And that I'm not I'm not really mad at. Again, this is like one of these things where it's a little more deceiving than it looks or what it smells like on cold. But y'all know I'm experimental and I got y'all. So moving this back to the open concept, which inspired my dinner that night on the way home. Um, the pizza place by my house had 51 percent off. Like, who does 51%? But either way, y'all know mama loves to shop a deal. And I got their pizza. And, I mean, why not just have dinner to what your open concept is going to smell like anyway? And this place right here is known for their garlicky butter crust. So I knew the whole open concept would smell like that anyway. So let it do what it do. Now, do I think this make a good gag gift from Christmas time? Yes. Um, will I burn through this one and finish it up? I'm so sure I will. Do I want another? That's going to be a yes. You know why? Because fall time, I can see it. And y'all know I love weird scents anyway. Again, I can put this with that Bath & Body Works pineapple pancake that we had. If it's pineapple and basil, it could go with anything coconut. Um, you can throw some Waikiki beach coconut on the back of it. There's just 99 ways you can take it up. Or you can take it down and leave it as is. But yeah, y'all, that doughy pizza note that I wanted to jump out in French baguette did not. Or even that doughy bready note that we get in pumpkin cinnamon bun that did not. You got pineapples. You got basils. You can't go wrong with it. Hell, it made me spark a pineapple balsam candle the other day. Because pineapple is going to throw regardless. Tie it with anything and it's going to throw not really a weird combination, but if you're a Bath & Body Works candle collector, I don't see why you would not have this one. And bye-bye.